Hi, I'm Sanna Benawan, and I'm back with the pre-release material for Paper 2-1, May-June 2021, and this is Task 3. Looking at the description for Task 3, we're going to show the statistics of the voting system and deal with a tie. So we're going to extend Task 2 to achieve the following. Number 1, calculate the percentage of the votes that each candidate received from the number of votes cast, excluding abstentions. Number two, display the, num the name of each candidate, the number of votes, and the percentage of votes they received from the number of votes cast, excluding abstentions. Number three, display the, number, the total number of votes cast in the election and the number of abstentions. Number four, in the event of a tie, allow the election to be immediately run again, with only the tied candidates as candidates and all students from the tutor group voting again. So before we start the code for task three, we're going to add two lines to the end of task two. Okay, from the last video, step five. Here is the end of task two from the last video, we, where we printed the tutor group name, we printed the candidates and the number of votes they got, and we printed the winners. So we're just going to add two lines to this last code. Okay, we're going to add a new variable called count winners, and we're going to set it to zero. And then if we found a winner because of their votes count was equal to the most number of votes, we're going to update that variable count winners equals count winners plus one. Now that we've finished adding what we needed to task two, we can start the code from task three. So the first few lines of code shown here are for the statistics. First, we need percentages equal 0.0, .0 times four. So we have an array and we've you know, basically initialize that array to four elements and each element is 0, 0.0. Then we run a for loop and we say for count in range from zero to the number of candidates. Percentages of count is equal to the votes that they got of count divided by the number of students in the class times 100. Now I'm kind of confused. You can reread the description. I'm not sure if you want to do votes of count divided by num students voted. That's what I understood. So this will give you the percentage of you know what this candidate got according to the number that voted, not the number of voted and abstained. Then you'll print the candidate's name and their percentage. Okay, that will print all the candidates' names and their percentages. All right, we'll also print the number of abstained votes is and the number of votes casted is. Now we're going to deal with a tie. If count winners is greater than one, print there is a tie, we will repeat the votes with the tied candidates only. So here's the code from if count winners is greater than one, we're going to print there is a tie. Now we need to identify who are the new candidates because we're not going to include all the candidates in this vote. So we have a new array called names new candidates and it's equal to the empty array for count in range from 0 to 4. If the votes are equal to the most, then we're going to append that name to the new names new candidates array. We're going to pop the first element because the first element is the empty string. Okay, we see the comment student votes occur in this for loop. So this for loop is almost exactly the same as the for loop that we used for the voting process before. The only difference is that we use the names new candidates array. So I've highlighted, you know, that it's names new candidates, not just names candidates. Finally, the end of the code is also exactly the same as the end of task two. Instead of names candidates, it's just names new candidates. Thank you for watching. Let me know if I can help you with anything else. Bye bye.